Good. This is a 1943 Czech Army field kitchen, and now it's a chili tank. For the first time, usually people say, like, what the kind of crazy thing is this, or what is this? Because most people have never seen anything like it. And you get all sorts of, it's really funny to hear the explanations they come up with, what it could be. The best one was an old tar wagon that they used to repair roads, and now it's selling chili, so... I want them to stop because they're looking at this crazy machine. Then I talk about it and casually open one of the lids, let the steam and the smell of the chili out, and then hopefully they're like, hmm, this smells good, I gotta try this. Uh, in Germany I did a baker's apprenticeship, so that's my sort of cooking, baking background, and I worked for the last uh, 17 years in the movie catering industry. Really, to be honest, there's no real secrets. It's just years of cooking, and you take, there's like thousands of different chili recipes out there. And uh, if you cooked a few hundred of them, and then you take the best, the 10 best ones and mix them all together, and then you create your own personal best chili. Both my grandparents uh, were in the war and used to eat from those machines. Once in the, in the two years, I had a lady, she sort of made a comment that uh, in regards to using old German war machinery in Canada is inappropriate. Uh, but then she stormed off, so I couldn't really talk to her to find out what, you know, what happened to her in the past and stuff like that. But it certainly raised awareness that you, you got to think about those things when you bring old antique stuff over here that you just got to keep it in the back of your mind that that might be an issue to some people.